I was bullied by one of my classmates. She turned everybody against me, all because she was jealous. jealous. Anything he could find that was wrong with me, he would make fun of me for. I would get to the point where I was being bullied so severely that I would get sick. I can remember just going home in tears. My son had selected a gun and put it in his backpack so that he could show the bully a gun, thinking that the child would leave him alone. When the gun was found, my son's immediate response was, I would rather die than come back to this school. When you're bullied, you're caused to question your own sense of self. A lot of them feel like they don't have someone to help them out because everybody usually joins in with that. I had nobody on my side. It ended up being, you know, one of the worst days of my life. The trauma from it has made me lose my memory of my childhood. It tears you apart. On April 20th, 1999, two seniors at my school, Kama my high school, came in with a lot of anger and a lot of hatred and killed 12 students and one teacher. The first person that was killed that day was my sister, Rachel. I believe that the antidotes to that darkness and that kind of evil is shining a light. No matter what happens in my life, I'm going to treat people a certain way. Every day I have to say, I forgive this person for throwing me against the wall by my throat. I forgive this person for pushing me down the stairs. I forgive this person, but it's totally worth it. All those people that made your life difficult at this time, they, were, they are going to slowly fade away into the past. If we embrace our diversity, a lot of the bullying will go away that I see. Every person has a need to like the way they look. Know that everybody's not the same, and that's good. It's a different way of looking at it. The negative labels that people try to put on you, don't let them stick. Because ultimately, you define who you are for yourself. Don't be a victim.